Did you train your voice? Did you, you know, I all went to voice class in theater school, didn't do much good. <laughs> it never does. I ever. didn't do anything. It's yeah. just how do you get through it? So how do you get through it? Was that, you learned that by experience or? Yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, I'm not very good to my voice, you know. I smoke. Um, and I see you with lozenges at times. Oh, yeah. But who speaks at noon? Come on. And how can you get through an eight-show week? I do six a week. I don't do two-show days anymore. Oh, okay. I can't do two-show days, yeah. This or this? This. This. Yeah. You know, I, 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 I was trained. Like, again, my mentor, Martin Stevens, taught me a lot about the voice when I was a boy because he was a grand theatrical man. Um, and then I started taking uh, classical singing lessons as a teenager and would get a few gigs now and then singing in churches. I would sing art hymns for... 25 or 50 bucks a pop, you know, I was that boy. And, and then when I went to theater school, I was a, here's a, here's a newsflash, I was a music theater major. Um, so I've always had stuff going on with the voice, but I attribute it more to uh, being that loner weirdo in front of the Looney Tunes on TV mimicking. I was a really good mimic, and I had an, a good natural four octave range, so I could do a high falsetto for years without warming up. That's really hard to do now, um, in, in terms of character voice. But um, I also just when I started touring, you know, my first shows were reel to reel tapes. They were tape shows. But then I came up with a melodrama when I was a teenager, that was a stage. I wore a backpack and a uh, hula hoop with a curtain and the puppets hung around my waist. How do you mean reel to reel? What, what does that mean? A tape, reel to reel tape shows. So when I was 14, all my shows were on reel to reel tape. You mean the voices? Yeah. Oh, yeah, so you see, just did the that manipulations. That's what people did. You would, you would turn the thing on and jiggle the dolls around, right? But then I did this melodrama with my walking stage with the puppets hanging around me and a kazoo around my neck. And I did that show 1,200 times. I did it in parks, schools, nightclubs, armed forces tours. To How old were you when you did uh, that? I did that show from the age of 16, well into my late 20s. Wow. Yeah, and it was a suitcase. It was called Suitcase Theater, actually. Um, and I did it on the Golan Heights and an alert for troops and armed forces tours. And, and, but that was all live, you know. So I'd do that on, in parks, on the street. I would busk in the high school gymnasium, you know, I, that's when I really learned how to work the voice. Because everybody now is mic'd. 